হাস্তে হাপং মনিটরিং এন্ড এভলুয়েশন তাবেদে নি লোয়াজি মাই হামক্রাইনি সামু খাইজাকমা রকন তুয়ে চেরি আমজুম গী নাইনে বাকে সালথামনি কসা ফ্রংম পান্ডা সংসাজাকা প্রজ্ঞা ভবন পান্ডাও মানজাকা হাস্তে ইয়াকচু মন্ত্রী অক্রা জিষ্ণু দেবর্মা push of this government and the central government <coughs> reaching out to the last man giving them what they want and making them partners in development as a huge task of monitoring and evaluation that takes place in central scheme state clean and i wish this workshop all well and i hope something substantial will come out and uh, prime minister is constantly trying to change that give them what they want and not what you want that has been the constant push of this government and the central government reaching out to the last man giving them what they want and making them partners in development as a huge task of monitoring and evaluation that takes place in central scheme state clean and i wish this workshop all well and i hope something substantial will come out and uh, prime minister is constantly trying to change that give them what they want and not what you want that has been the constant push of this government and the central government reaching out to the last man giving them what they want and making them partners in development as a huge task of monitoring and evaluation that takes place in central scheme state clean and i wish this workshop all well and i hope something substantial will come out and uh, no way we can get stuck, stuck in a, a time warp so what you hear here you i am sure you know doc and this is a very very important workshop so when i was asked to come i was ready to agree because i thought this is something that i've been working in my heart for a very long time how do we monitor how do we evaluate because everything i do as a minister i feel great it must be doing very well this is my dream child is not so it does not happen that way and uh, there should be a maximum level of honesty in monitoring it must be you know absolute honesty in monitoring and feedbacks as dr sinha was saying because without that the evaluation will suffer <coughs> we can always make cost correction on the way it's not necessary that the scheme should finish and then we should scrap it that can be really not good we can always make cost correction when we are moving when we as we move forward we can make cost corrections that is why monitoring is required honest monitoring is required and if we don't do that there will be a huge waste of money waste of effort and there will be public grievance also so once again i congratulate a lot is happening but we probably don't know what is happening that is what creates a lot of problem a lot is happening we know that a lot of activities are happening in agriculture happening in my department like rural development and power but what is actually happening that's when monitoring takes over and monitoring must be done even at the lowest level i believe Well, I look after panchayat department, and I find at the end of the year everyone is busy doing GPDP, huh? Gram Panchayat Development Plan. Every person says I can't do anything else. I'm busy with doing GPDP. But what happens to the GPDP? Does it translate into action? Does it make the life of the you know villages better? <coughs> Does it transform? Does it innovate? and i always felt that there's a very very urgent need for evaluation and monitoring <coughs> right from the grass root level to our secretary there is a need like i have made a small little project in my science and technology department known as bio village i feel very happy that it is going on very well because it is my but i have made it so i think it is going on very well my department <coughs> things are very bright but it has to be evaluated with evidence 
with data and on the field. And then it comes out that yes, it has made substantial changes to the life of people, then we'll say it is a success. So we cannot declare success or failure without, without a proper evaluation. And we cannot reach the destination of the scheme without proper monitoring. <coughs> As Dr. Das was saying, it is not a fault finding mission or something like that. It is an improvement. It is for improvement that we reach our goal. Because every scheme has a goal to reach. Like the Prime Minister Sobhaike had a goal to reach every unelectrified household. So every scheme a lot of money is spent. He was saying it's true. Resources are very limited. And demands are always remain unlimited. People are aspirational nowadays in India. That old cry of, you know, in Bengali we used to say the earlier times, Dhal Bhat Khawa Shukhe Thako, that is gone. People want the quality of life, people want education, people want no good health services, people want good roads, people want electricity, people want tap water. And for a nation to be aspirational is a very, very good sign. <clears throat> that means the na nation is moving on, not in a state of status quo. But this monitoring in this workshop you will have for three days. These monitoring systems have to be tuned to us to convey. Because India is a very diverse city. You can't have one shoe that fits all sizes. Or one cap that fits all sizes. So the monitoring has to be done, as our Secretary Finance was saying, taking into the behavioral attitude of the people of Zipra. Because we have understood them for a very long time. He is a very old hand at Zipra. So he was a very old hand at finance also. So that has to be looked at. For example, that earlier these rooftops, rooftop solar panels used to be given to all these small, small, tiny hamlets, tribal hamlets, and most of them found their way to Mizora. We had thought, the previous government had thought that they had solved the problem by giving these small, small, you know, household solar panels on top of each roof. It became a good photographic session to send to Delhi that all the houses are with solar panels. But in less than a year, they all found their way to Mizora. So this time when I was asked, you know, why don't you give solar panels? I said, certainly not. I will make a solar, micro solar grid for each of the villages. Maybe that may work. Because people do require electricity. The cry for electricity is always there. Like the PM Kusum is an all India scheme. But here we have tuned it to the our needs. We have put down the share of the farmers to as low as 2% and 5% through a RIDF loan taken from Nabar. Because our farmers here are not as rich as the farmers in Haryana or Rajasthan or Punjab. They are very marginal farmers. And besides that, the tribal population in our village is totally dependent on zooming or farming as you call it, shifting cultivation. So we wanted to have give them those farms much cheaper so that they can do their farming. They can do at least double cropping, otherwise they are looking up to the skies waiting for the rain. Especially in tribal areas, they are completely dependent on the weather. <coughs> so now, in many villages, they are doing double cropping. Because we change tuned a little to our needs in Zipporah. That's why when Modiji came in as Prime Minister, we said planning not from the top, let's do planning from the grassroots. That's where it must reach. And it is always very difficult to do the last mile delivery. 
It is very difficult to do the last mile delivery, reach out to the last man. And this has been the effort of the central government and the state government since we came in here. We are just about four and a half years old here. But our, from our first step that we took was to declare 12 you know, blocks, mainly tribal blocks, purely tribal blocks, which were lagging far behind as aspirational blocks and give them priority in development activities. But those need to be monitored and evaluated now. Those aspirational blocks need to be you know, monitored and evaluated. Are they aspirational blocks only for the name? Or are they, are they aspirational blocks? Truly aspirational blocks fulfilling the aspirations of the inhabitants there. That needs to be evaluated and it's high time that we do it. And what are the, you know, lacuna that we can stop? We can block it or we can, you know, do it more in a speedy manner. How can we reach out to those blocks in a more speedy manner? So this has been the whole philosophy of this government and the central government of reaching out to the last man, the last man first, as we say, in our government and in the central government. It is not top up, it is top up the bottom of <laughs> development that we aim here. And so it requires a lot of monitoring systems, evaluation systems, we sitting in Agartala think that we have done a great job. But actually is that a great job? How much change has it brought? How much resources have we spent? There has to be a proportion to that also. Have they got what they wanted? Because we have this habit of giving what we want and not what they want. That also is a problem in our system. Shonokomal Jewelers don't need to be kaise panda shongsa ka. Ab unka dhan taras dhan samjhti. Offer taking to show hoye jaate 17 October theke 26 October. Apna na jono thakse. Every purchase a gift hampers. Each other daily mega lucky draw a chay duto, shoner gold coin. Prothik purchase a chay, shoner mudra. Tay, as a bayako, Naragara Zago money money, Panchak me by now, twenty five percent k discount. Tay, here I me by now, Tongo, hundred percent discount. As a yako, mega lucky draw a tonga, I will log you. Hunke, Narok, Kucham Nansak Shlai, Katal Hormaganam, Ransak me money, Abu Mani money. Tay. Normally, I will be able to get a lot of money. I will be able to get a lot of money. I will be able to get a lot of money. I will be able to get a lot of money. I will be able to get a lot of money. I will be able to get a lot of money. I will be able to get a lot of money. I will be able to get a lot of money.